those sloppier ones we we say in a while is kind of your thoughts especially as kind of unfold uh my thoughts i thought this mini was really good it was good to see that he made some big pitches when he needed to um thought he was good you know, obviously six uh no runs kind of give us a chance to put some runs on the board we were able to get one but didn't really do anything with that yeah, like you said, a little sloppy with the airs, um, and even mental side of that, mental airs too. So, yeah, it wasn't. Um, we kind of let that seventh get started, you know, with the ball basically ground ball to second, then O2 walk, you know, then just started the merry go round. Yeah, just the you know you talk about Caleb, like you said, you know you you're looking for those kind of positive signs, and for him to kind of get back and look like the old Caleb. Yeah, I think that as much as it, you know, he hasn't looked bad. I know he's given up some runs, but there's been parts of each one of those games that he's thrown the ball well and made pitches. And like I said before the game, I really do believe that what's going on this year with Caleb is really going to help him. That he's going to know that he has to, what exactly he has to do, and he's going to know when he doesn't do it what it cost him. And, and that's part of. Uh, you know, pitching here, but I really truly believe that this year is going to really help him moving forward. Was there a certain part of his game today that maybe was different from the last three or four outings? Maybe something with his command or his fastball or something that like you saw today? I thought he was, you know, you know, you like, there was a couple situations where he had, like, even the walk. The walks were decent because they knew who he didn't want to have to go after, necessarily give in to. Uh, and where he was in the order, things like that. So, and when he had to make pitches, he wasn't just throwing, you know, trusting that they weren't going to hit his fastball. He was trying to get it to certain spots. He was mixing when he had to. So, I thought he was obviously he was good tonight, result-wise. But I think this has been coming, you know. And I think it's again, I think it's going to help him moving forward. Just in the field, like you said, just kind of <clears throat> what you see from the guys you have to do, kind of tighten it up when when you have a winnable game and just to not let those last innings look like they did tonight? Well, the one inning gets away from us is all. Like I said, that first out we should get 0-2. You know, we walk the guy, you know, and then we got it going. You know, and then Mer Merrifield throws a, throws a duck out there and you're in trouble. You know, and then you got to, you know, you're for, looking for a double play ball in there. It's a third baseman with Dozier, and, you know, he ends up getting a knock. The next guy, you know, another right, it's a ball in the corner, and so, you know, you're, you're, you're down five. With, with the pen, it's at the point where, you know, guys have thrown a lot of innings or someone, most people are, are battling something at this point in the season. Are you, are you seeing any exhaustion, any fatigue, or, or is that just a matter you of just to be sharper? I mean, every, everybody's tired, and something's always going on this time of year. But we were pretty good in Pittsburgh, you know. AC was good in Pittsburgh. Ryan was good in Pittsburgh. Um, we haven't tried to run guys out there. I think Ryan's had a couple of days off. Um, so, I mean, every something's always going on uh, this time of year. But, you know, you, you just got to make pitches. <clears throat> With Jose, is that kind of situation where, like, I know you guys have looked at him, maybe he's kind of closer for now. Is that something where maybe you would envision him maybe earlier in some games, some kind of leverage spots, or is it kind of flexible right now? Uh, no, I think we, we've talked about this from the standpoint of Jose is, is we want him. He's been starting for you know, his third year, I think, of basically being a starter and coming off a back injury. We don't want to try to fire him up in the middle of an inning. We want him to have enough time to get ready that he knows this, you know, he, for the most part, knows the inning's coming. He sees the game. You know, he's getting loose to his little bit of a routine and has time to get ready. So that's the main thing with him at the end of the game is to be able to control his warm-up a little bit. So, you know, again, fairly serious back injury. Uh, and, again, starting, we want to be able to control how he gets ready. Done. Obviously a much better start tonight. You feel like you got back to pitching to your strengths? Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like today tonight was a lot better uh, command-wise and uh, just all-around pitching. How much of it had to do with the facial hair? Uh, 
I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna say most of it. So the beard wasn't working, so we had to try something different. When did you decide to make that call? Uh, whenever I was getting a haircut around like four o'clock. Your reaction from your teammates when they saw you and that? Uh, they didn't recognize me, <laughs> so I, I didn't even recognize myself when I looked in the mirror. But on the mound, you kind of were like the Caleb we saw when you were, you know, at your best, eight Ks, and you know, just working. Uh, yeah, I felt I felt uh, back to being me. Um, I was able to locate locate my pitches and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, throw the off speed where I wanted to, and um, it was it was a good night for me. When you haven't been feeling like you wanted to, is there an adjustment that's been made, or when you say you're back to feeling like you? Um, no, it's just it's just uh, it's just making making quality pitches, and I felt like I was able to do that tonight. The fastball getting the results up in the zone, the slider being very effective for you as well. To have those two that combo going for you. Oh, yeah, that's a big, big combination uh, for me. Uh, obviously, my my fastball velocity is down right now, but um, I'm still getting swing and misses, and uh, it it uh, helps my slider a lot. You're a little bit on uncharted, uncharted waters with your innings, and you know as they're growing up and you know, going up, and as you try to get through this month, what are you looking to achieve this month? Uh, just give give the team the best opportunity to win. And uh, you kind of took one for the team and get an RBI, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It barely grazed the elbow pad, so, so that, was, that was good.